My company is looking up to you. Yeah. Um, I hear that the company never had good days until you joined them. <laughs> Let's say I don't like taking all this credit. It all belongs to God anyway. One other good trait you possess. Modesty, right? If it's supposed to be a compliment, thank you very much. Well, as for this business deal, consider it as one that will um, draw you closer to a good promotion. A very good promotion. Thank you. Thank you. We are looking up to uh, two weeks, right? I'm expecting my consignment in a week. So give me a little time to put things together and um, after then I'll get you a ring. Okay, okay. It's okay. I mean, thank you so much. And I hope that this will, you know, will be the beginning of our business deals together. Absolutely. You know, I'm not planning to give up um, a deal with a multinational company as the one you belong to. So thank you very much for bringing the business around. Thank you so much. Thank you. So I'll be on my way now. Thank you. I don't know this company. I've not heard of them either. But I'm excited. They came highly recommended. So, what are we expecting? Three containers. For 15 million naira. I have thrilled as well. Wow, this is amazing. Awesome. How can we reward you for what you've done and what you're still doing for this company? Promote you every week, every month? That would be great, madam. <laughs> of course. You deserve more than that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, madam. And thanks for believing in me. I'm just doing my job. Can we continue this conversation some other time? I um, have a appointment with some company by. Yeah, I think it's time. Yeah. Sure, sure, madam. Let me leave you. All right. I'll see you when you return. All right, it's okay. okay. Arrival of uh, consignments, man. Have you spoken with him? When are we expecting them? At least have something to tell our clients. When I, I, I spoke with him earlier, he asked me to come to his office. 
I was actually on my way when you sent for me. Okay, then I guess you should be on your way by now. But please, bring back a positive response, okay? I'm counting on that. Don't disappoint me. I will. Okay. I'll, I'll be on my way. for that company for years and from the little knowledge I have you gave him your best they trusted you and I betrayed them at the end you mean you actually duped them of the 50 million naira? you did not did you of course I did At least you should have known I can't and I couldn't have done that. Amadeo, 
knows I'm going to do that. I only did business with that man, and that was it. The money just went aloof. Well, people barely trust themselves, let alone trusting another person. I am not surprised if your boss did not trust you. Uh, what concerns me now is what follows. Because from the look of things, you obviously had a prison break. And I'm worried that the police will soon trace you down to this place. Maybe we always will go and have a feel of what police looks like. And if, 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 if just only if it may comfort you, brother. I never had a prison break. I was released from the police force legitimately. Legitimately. What to do? But once you leave here, go to the apartment. Pack all your personal belongings and get out. Please, don't do this to me. Please, I'm begging you. Please. I'm going to set you free. And I'll let your conscience judge you. I'm not going to let you die in this place. No, I will not. But once you leave this place, I don't want to see you anywhere around the apartment or the office. If I do, then I will not care if your blood spills in my head. You can take it as a threat or anything. I don't care. Kind enough to let me go. Hmm? Let you go with what? A piece of suitcase? Ha! Huh. That is wickedness. At least she left his life for him. What useless to... life? Huh? What useless life? What can he do with the life that is allowed to come back to the village with? How can a man survive here with nothing after living the better part of his life in the? I'm so sorry about this. But one thing is for sure. The innocent will surely be vindicated. I swear to God, I'm still disappointed for any reason why I should be lured and this count has been into a cheap, cheap charm. Uncle, 50 million naira's scam is not a cheap one. I worked, I mean, I've been on that business for complete eight years. Eight good years. I don't see any reason on earth why I should fall for that scam. And no wonder. My boss never believed in me. She trusted me, my intelligence, my smartness, and now look at me. Uncle, calm down, relax. It's not your fault. Those people use their bully powers on their victims. Yes. Once you respond to your first question, they use charm some people, so it's not your fault. Yes. But that's by the way. Now that you are here, what are your plans? What possible plans can I have with that money? My bank account was frozen. Ibuka, you won't believe the only thing they gave me to return to this village was my boss fare. Nothing. No plans. That should be okay for you, right? Eh? <laughs> Uncle. Uncle. 
I'm short of breath. I don't even know what to say. Thank you very much. It's okay. Thank you very, very much. It's okay. At least, uh, this one will sustain you. Huh? It will sustain me forever. Yes, it will sustain me forever. Forever? Yes, so. Yeah, come on. There are people that actually spend this kind of money in one day. <laughs> Uncle, you said there are people. I'm not them. My name is Yebuka, and this money, this money I will use it well. Anyway, it's okay. It's okay. There's no need to thank me too much anyway. Let's just say this is to return your father's favor in my life. What I need you to do is open an account. Once you open an account, send that account number to me. I need the rest. Hey. Uncle, thank you very much. God bless you for me. Thank you very, very much. I appreciate it. Come on, we can get Thank you very much. Your father did more. Thank you. know, for your father, I won't be who I am today. I believe that. Anyway, see you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Uncle, with all due respect, you know the money you gave me the last time, too. I actually didn't use the money to solve my problem. I started a business with it. What kind of business can you possibly start with such little amount? Well, I started a um, wood business. Yes, um. I buy woods, break them into pieces, and now sell them. And my wanko. <laughs> Ibuka, that money I gave to you actually was just a token. It wasn't for any reason. You know? So but what can you possibly gain from this your your new business that you're talking about? Uncle, the point is this, with your current situation, I don't want you to stay idle. So with all due respect, I'm, I'm pleading. If you can partner with me in my wood business, while you figure out what to do, that's my point. Don't give my life. <laughs> Partner with you. <laughs> Partner with you. <laughs> What's funny? It will make the business easier for me. <laughs> <It's okay. laughs> It is not too early for you to think of what to do. In fact, it is good that you have decided to move on with your life. Exactly. I need to get busy in order to forget the past. Yes. Uh, but I'm aware that your company froze your account. How do you intend to finance the business? Well, the universe has made a provision. That's a very good news. How did it happen? Who is the universe? The universe is God. Now, tell me, how did it happen? Hey! Ibuka has asked me to be his partner in business. What, what, what kind of stupid business is that? Huh? Firewood cutting and selling. Is that what you call business? Well, at least it's better than doing nothing. I need to understand something here. The, the torture you received from the police, did they remove your senses? That's not a good way to talk to your brother. Yes, he's my brother and not yours. I can talk to him the way I want. Ah. Brother, I know the business is not befitting to me considering my former status. But at least... Ah! 
You have just helped me out. But the business is not befitting. So you are not expected to think about it again. Not to talk of doing it. Huh. Brother. I think I need to go to bed now. Okay. I hope that his silence means that he understood my point. He it would have if you had given him another business idea. These are all yours now. Yes until I sell them off to the final consumers. How does it work? It's simple. I buy the woods, break them into pieces, and sell to the final consumers. How do you intend to make profit from all this kind of business? <laughs> well, um, there is profit in it. Sometimes high, sometimes low. Sometimes not good. Trust me, it's a good business. It's better than staying idle. <coughs> so, how do I come in? I mean, what part do I get to play? Um, we have two major parts in this business. One is splitting the woods into pieces. Second is supplying them to the final consumers. So you choose one when you are in business. Love and money go together. Anywhere money enter. Love go follow above. Hey. If money work love must follow and go. Are we in agreement with this? Do we need agreement for this, brother? Eh? Do we? Look, I am not talking about what you have decided to do with your life, but bringing it into this compound. This is what I have agreed to do by myself. To survive because it is obvious there's nothing you can actually offer me to benefit my life this time so allow me to face this one please um baby it's your master isn't it why don't you work at his house why bring it here my brother don't you feel insulted why is to be so low that boy is as young as being your king brother. Hey. Brother, you can see that the soldiers or your insults cannot get me anywhere. As I'm cutting this wood, they've already paid for it and the buyers are waiting. So listening to you is a total waste of time. Now, I am looking after you because I am your only little brother. Eh? A living insult, that's what you are doing now. Leave me alone. That's all you know how to do. What else do you have to do? Make one time. Only brother.
Have I been too lenient with you? Eh? I was in the kitty, name Mary Mary. Have I been too lenient with you? Eh? What are you talking about? Hey, Buka. Is it true that you are associating with that cost brother of Oko? Or is it a rumor? What is your If you are talking about Uncle or son, yes. Cost man, no. Hello, Ebuka. Hey, Ebuka, hey, Pachalayago. Now listen. Listen very well because I will be very brief. Okay. I allowed you to continue with that firewood business of yours so that you will get a, a sense of responsibility. Kisi Chiko Wano. Give my leave. But I will not allow you to do business with a cost man to contaminate my family. Uncle, Meme! Uncle, uncle, why is it affecting you? Why is it why is it eating you up? They're calling him a cost man. To you, he's a cost man. To me, he's a blessing. Look what I have. It's not your business who I associate with. Hey, Buka, how dare yes. you? Yes! How dare you? How dare you talk back at me? I'm not done. And as for contaminating your family, don't worry about that. Because I'm not a member of your family. Hey, Buka, I'm talking and you're talking. Listen, Uncle. Leave me alone. As soon as there is a woman who can spoil you, leave me alone! I know you don't like me, fine, but leave me alone. Must you torment me? Must you interfere in my affair? Leave me alone! Customer, customer. Uh -huh. In case you don't know, it was Uncle Osondo that gave me the money I used in starting this business. Now you are telling me not to associate with him that he's a customer. Just for. Let me be! Let me be! Chelo. Chelo, Ebuka, so it has gotten to the point of you talking and walking out on me. Look at you, Pastor Ha! Oh, Still comes out stronger. Now give me this. Papa, I walk around. Papa, why is this Ebuka issue disturbing you? I don't really understand what is going on. Now it is obvious to me that never at all man. Eh? You were Papa. Papa, how come you are John? I can't hear the same old What is the problem? Hmm? Your papa now? No, nah, I think I saw him before I asked him. Okay. Uh, the problem is that Papa saw uh, Ebuka working with Osondo. One of my problems, Gona, I don't really understand why that thing should be disturbing Papa. Um, wait, wait. So, Ebuka now work with Osondo? Hey? Eh? He will. So this is the reason why I saw both of them yesterday, doing that firewood business together. Hey! Obviously he does not. Now I know that I, the lion, have begotten a sheep for a son. Eba atolo me. Mwa. Tamu chum. Oje ke ebo. Nwa obule eke. Nwa dimba. Listen. Papa left Ebuka to do that firewood business because he knows that that business must break him down someday. Eh? But now that he has a, a help, a helper, or company, or, or collabor, he might become successful from that business. So. Hey, that will never happen. It will never happen. I will not allow it. Oh, my, my. Papa, Papa, Azoka, I am not in support of this. Hey, come on, come on, come on. I'm not in support of this. Oh, man, this guy just lost his father and everything that he had. Papa, 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 I want to put on. Yeah, it's just a little shame, Papa. Get out from here. No. Yeah, 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 yeah. Listen, listen. If you don't have anything meaningful to contribute to this discussion, just walk away. Get out from here. Papa, Papa, I want to put on. Yeah, it's just a little shame. I want to just walk away. Atolo. Can you fire me? Can you fire me? Can you do something? Can you can can I do something? Something will come up. Is it not a useless life that he's living? My only brother. 
Honestly, I don't like what his life has turned into. But why do you We need to give him our maximum support. What nonsense support are you talking about? That I should support my educated brother to live like this? Do you think he's comfortable the way he is? <sighs> you, you think he likes it? Or it hurts you more than him? Come on. Be a little sensitive. What do you mean? Being sensitive? I should not tell him the truth. What you call the truth and the way you go about it is not doing him any good. It's only breaking down. All he needs from us now is love and care. Let us help him heal. I think he's doing this for a good business just for him to take his heart away from uh, his predicament. <sighs> If it is easy for you to support your brother, your brother that is educated to, to cut firewood for a living, it will not be easy for me. My dear, I understand. All you need is to be nice to him. Maybe close your eyes from what he does with uh, axe and firewood. He is your only brother, remember? If anything happens to him now, you will be left alone. can be a struggle sometimes. <laughs> then you should put up a smile. <laughs> you know, as you came in, I was thinking everything went bad. <laughs> the business has nothing to do with the bad day. My uncle is still a thorn on my flesh. That man has sold everything my late father left. Cars, houses, lands, and embezzled the money. The only thing left is our family house in this village. Now he's coming for it. I mean, for God's sake, 
Hmm? Ofoka is, is, is okay. He has all the money in the world. What again is he looking for? He's just being greedy and wicked at the same time. Should I go and talk to him? No. Uncle, no. Please. I don't want to drag you into this. He will get tired. I'm sure he will get tired someday. Well, it's okay. The, the most important thing here now is that we have this money. And we have more money coming. You sold out and we're going to sell more. It's okay, it's okay. Ibuka, I said it's okay. You encouraged me. You encouraged me. I can never believe that one supply could fetch 10,000 naira. It's about me. I can't do this anymore, okay? Please, can you be civilized enough and respect my decision? And do not call me again, please. Oh, please, don't give me that look. My friend, you can't just be rude to men like that. But I was not rude to him. I mean, this is the same man I told not to call me again. And he's still calling me. I thought we were going to give him a chance some months ago. What changed? Look, Lucy, my company just lost 50 million naira. Do you actually think this is the best time or you think a man is my first priority? Please, stop that. Mr. Jason is a multi-millionaire we're talking about here. And listen, who knows? He might be able to change everything your company has lost. Just give him a chance. Thank you for your subjection. But I do not operate like that, okay? I trusted him. I gave him all my trust. Why are human being wicked? This is about Mr. Osama, right? I was even willing to make him one of the directors in the company. That's how much I trusted him. You were? Oh my goodness. Why were you going to do that? Come. I, I, I don't understand. You mean you, you, you fell in love with him so much that. Oh my god, I can see you truly fell in love with him. Oh, so sorry. So sorry. Since they left. Sometimes I feel like I am I'm losing my money for something. Girlfriend, I feel so helpless. Like right now, I'm I don't know what to do. Like I don't okay. know. I feel totally confused okay. and all that. Okay. Stop. You don't have to keep lamenting like that. Okay? Please. Come on, baby. Yourself together. I don't know if I can. Just be yourself. Okay? It's okay. It's okay. Ah, where is the phone? Where is the phone? In my pocket. Wait, wait, wait. I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. Coming, I'm coming. Hello? Yeah, God bless you. Is that awesome, dude? Yes, yes, it's awesome. Yes, this is um, Pastor Henning. Awesome, do I've been trying to call you. I've called you several times and you did not pick my call.
Are you there? I'm here. I'm here. Why are you calling me? Why are you calling me? Eh? See, it's not like I don't want to insult you. Please, I beg you. If you still preach that preaching again to me, don't call me again. Please, I beg you. Don't ever call me again. Leave me alone. Asondo, why? I know our last conversation was nice. It was good. Hello? Hello? Oh, Jesus Christ. Exactly what he did the last time I called him on the phone. I think it's best. We just leave him alone. Leave him alone? Yes. No. Osondo was a devoted member of this church. We cannot leave him alone. More so allow him to throw his faith away. No. The Osondo that I just heard spoke now does not sound as someone that has anything left of his faith. My dear, this is his troubling moment. We all pass through this moment at a certain time in our lives. And it's not all of us that have the grace to handle it. Brother Sondo needs our prayers. Please, let's not give up on his soul. Please, let us pray for him. Can we pray? Father, in thy name of Jesus. Amen. Father, we've come this hour. There's a burden in our soul. Daddy, we're bringing this young man also to before you. This is the same thing that's happening, you know. The same thing, Neman Kanema. She keeps talking to me about God. The same God that will do everything to make it possible that my life will never be the same again. Ah, don't talk like that. You don't have to. Hi. Abi, why are you sounding like this? Hi. If that was God, why is my life different? Tell me. See, for the fact that we are alive is a proof that God loves us. Yes. Hmm. <laughs> you know, God loves us. No wonder my life is up upside down. Everything I do is upside down. If God so loved us, why is it everything I do in life does not correspond? If that was God, though, my wife is dead. My children are dead. Up until now, I am back in the village by Wanko. And you tell me about God. We go. We cannot blame God. Hmm? The Bible says that the thought he has for us is thought of good and not of evil. Mm. See, weeping may endure for the night, mm. but joy comes in the morning. Please, my dear, relax. Calm down. Eh? Remember the case of Job in the Bible? Mm. Hmm? Weeping may endure in the night and joy comment in the morning. Yes. How come my own weeping is continuous even now that I've woken up? I'm awake. I'm, I'm still weeping. Why am I still weeping? Why can't my own endure? God, I want to know exists. It's okay. Come. It's, it's alright. It's alright. Calm down. Relax. Love and money a brother and sister Anytime you see them They must go together Anywhere money enter Love go follow and move hey. If money work out Love must go follow and go So you now go about searching for my car, right? Alright, um, sorry about So you're 
in town. None of your business. And let me educate you. The first thing you do when you meet people who are superior to you is to greet. You greet them. You need to stop worrying too much about Osando. After all, he is my brother, not yours. I know, but you hardly talk to him. The only time you talked to him was when you were advising him to quit the firewood business. Mm -hmm. I spent time with him. I understand what he's going through. Mm. So you now spend time with my brother? My husband, please don't talk like that. I am trying to make a serious point here. Your brother really needs your help. Can't you see it? I wish I could help him. Except you are asking me to tell... Uh, talk to Unduka. Our first son. To take him to the city. But then... Nduka is barely able to take care of himself and he's still staying with friends. Nedun is still serving his master. Uh, uh, my husband, you are going too far. I am not uh, suggesting that you, you ask him to go and uh, stay with Nduka in the city. All I want you to do is to bring your brother close to yourself. Show him love and care. I, I think that is all he needs now. Yeah. Yes. So you are asking me to be my brother's wife? My husband, what do you mean? What do you mean? What he needs at this point in time is a wife. Don't you think so? Jenny, that was so rude and unfair. Why do you care? He has done nothing to deserve that, I mean. Trying to measure up with me is nothing. Girl, this is Ebuka. Jenny, this is Ebuka. The same Ebuka you were crazy about years back. <laughs> <laughs> Babe, a lot has changed within those few years. Can't you see that? I know. But that guy is suffering. I mean, he is suffering. Is that a crime? He is lazy and stupid. Who says that someone has to stop living because he lost his parents? Didn't I lose my parents? Have I stopped living? You can't compare yourself with him. This guy is suffering. Fine, okay. I heard from the grapevine that his uncle took all the properties, including the estates and everything. Sweetheart, this guy is suffering. At least if we don't have anything for him, we should have pity. Pity, pity. Maybe he needs to understand that pity is the only thing I have left for him. <laughs> but the idiot still wants to see me as his girlfriend. What nonsense! <laughs> Babe, uh, what? that is not funny. Mm. That is not funny. Mm. I hate that guy. <sighs> okay. Uncle, I come in peace. Don't preach. 
pretend like you don't know what I'm talking about. You are talking absolute nonsense. What cars? Ido Yamoto? Uncle, I come in peace for now. I come in peace for now. You told me that you sold my late father's cars for his burial. Uncle, I'm tired of those stories. Let me have one more. I can see you are going crazy. Be very careful. You have gone completely mad. He's mad. And this is where his madness has brought him. You chat about the No, house. Your madness has brought you to my house. Listen. Boys don't talk when you're in a problem. You're careful. Who is coaching you? Uncle, if I don't fight for what my father left. Who will fight for me? Let me have what my father left. Simple. I come in peace for now. Go ahead, go chicky. Oh, what's on though? What's on though? One cookie. Oh, give me another. What can I cook you? Enya. What do you have there? Oh, what do you have there? Enya. What do you have there? What do you have there? It is since Osondo came back to this village that you, Ebuka, Mwambanche, has decided to grow wings and challenge me. Yes. The ant is now challenging the spider, forgetting that spiders. Feed on ants. Uncle, you know what? I'm tired of talking. Let me have what my father left, or I will go in here now and move every valuable I lay my hands on. Lie, lie. Yeah? Hey, 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 Baby, you know I love you so much and I can't do without you. I love you more. You know you're the best thing that ever happened to me. <laughs> Jenny, Jenny that used to worship me, man calls me names. Poverty is a disease. Ah, uh, uncle, you're not supposed to be here now. You should have sent for me. I'm here. Ebuka, if you don't make the move. Nothing will move. Anyway. Ubu sent for us. And he says that he has a log for us to break. I'm wondering if you're ready if you that's if you're chanced to go. But if you're not chanced, no problem. You can always go there whenever you're ready. Please, let's go later. I'm, I'm not in the right frame of mind. No problem. Well, anytime you're ready. Ebuka, just call me. Yeah? I'll see you later, yeah? Thanks for coming. trying to make that we are friends well I'm glad you got the message the next time I see you this close to me I won't be this nice fine we dated in the past that was when you were up to it well it was your parents money but things have changed try and understand that and move on don't ever come close to me again Idiot. Love must follow and go. I need you. 
glad you got the message. The next time I see you this close to me, I won't be this nice. Fine, we dated in the past. That was when you were up to it. Well, it was your parents, honey. But things have changed. Try and understand that and move on. Don't ever come close to me again. Be truth. I can't take this anymore. I can't continue to live in shame and misery. Look at Jennifer. Someone that used to worship me. Now sees me as trash. Because she's dating sugar daddies that give some money. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. I can't die while I'm still breathing. Something has to be done. Enough is enough. This is just the beginning, man. Welcome, brother, man. <laughs> 